good day. Turn home. think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. 
Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? <laughs> I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. <sighs> Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect, not just Futaba, but you, too. I may not always be reliable, but feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you, as family. And, uh, I know, I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. All right. I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger! Curry time! Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Yeah.
today now
Hey. Bust loose.
Ah, you're back. Like right here. And here. Master. Oh. See you later. Hey. Thanks for coming in. today. Good day! <laughs> 
Goodbye. Well, shall we begin?
Good day. Excuse me?
The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. And she started avoiding me. I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? is amazing! Her feet and mine are connected! I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. Yes! Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. you good, didn't I? But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. So, it's fine. Only... the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. No time to be worried. We must take action in order to change fate, right? I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of fortune, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Still, what a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. <laughs> the verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please, visit again sometime. Goodbye!